Geek Citadel. The gameplay footage you're seeing is from the game The Turnover. It's a top-down stealth game that's kind of like Die Hard, except you can't really kill anyone and you try to survive. It is incredibly difficult, but satisfying to say the least. The problem with the game I have right now is that it seems too hard to play with a keyboard and you can't play with controller on the build that I'm playing on. So take that with a grain of salt. But if they can fix the controller problem, it seems like it would be a really, really fun game. Unlike games like Hotline Miami, this game is very trial and error because all the randomization is gone. You, Everything is linear. You're a rat trapped in a maze and you have to try to get out. Plain and simple. I had fun playing it. It's not amazing. The graphics is not amazing to me, but I did have fun playing the stealth mechanic. If you have any questions about it, you can go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I'm going to play the gameplay over this mobile discussion I'm going to have. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Kevin Jones. I just want to talk a little bit about mobile games. I've been playing a lot of mobile games recently. I'm playing uh, Galaxy of Heroes. I was playing Marvel Future Fight. I was playing The Walking Dead Road to Survival. So I just want to get in and say that mobile games are just terrible. They're just awful games. I don't know why I play them. I don't spend any money on them. I just play them. But the reality of it all is, is that mobile games are just there to steal money from gamers who just have a lot of money to spend. Now, I'm going to go into what I went through, which was basically I played Future Fight when it first came out. I was like, oh, this game's great. I was actually playing it in beta form, and it was great. You know, it, it literally made me want to spend money on it to get the stuff that I needed. So I spent, I was paying for the little $5 subscription model that they had going on, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You know, it, they weren't scamming me. They were, they had login bonuses. They were giving away mail. Like every mail they would give away, they were like, oh, here's a new crystal for this and this and that. And crystals is how you, how you buy currents, like how you buy the characters in the game and unlock the packs. And it was like, oh, well, I can support this for, you know, the four, whatever, four to five dollars a month that I had to pay just to support it. And I would get crystals out of it. So then one day they said, uh, hey, man, um, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to, like, make it easy to get the characters. Let me give you an example. Basically, they had the system where you could get characters from playing the game. So you would just play, you would play the arena, the PvP. The PvP wasn't, like, overmatched. It wouldn't be like, oh, there's a tournament here, and you can only get this character if you're at the top of the tournament. It was like, no, you get these characters. Like, you play the PvP, you get to a certain rank, and you get... You get the, the currency for buying the character every day. And that was cool. And they had like different certain characters that you could get only from the PvP. But it wasn't like PvP was impossible and no one else could do it. You could do it regardless. And you would get the currency. And you could buy the character you wanted. Then they had this similar thing that was only PvE. And it was uh, you, you beat the bosses. You beat the bosses and you have fun. But basically you get a different, a different set of characters that you can spend the points on. One day they said, hey, we don't like this anymore, and they did away with it. They did away with the idea that you could buy these certain characters. Instead, they made it random characters. And, and, and then it was like, oh, wait, why'd you do that? <laughs> it was like, oh, no, you just get a random character now, and you don't, and then you get, like, Miss Marvel. That was like, it's like random character and Miss Marvel on the side, and it's like, okay. And when it used to be, you could get Hulk, uh, Miss Marvel, blah, Black, Black Bow, blah, 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 a bunch of other characters. One day they just decided to do away with that for both the arena and, uh, what is it, the, 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 whatever PvE crap that they had. So, they did that, and it was gone. It was, it was gone. And then the same day, they introduced Secret Wars. Secret Wars and three new characters. Three new characters, She-Hulk, uh, some glowing chick, and some other magical chick. And these characters could only be purchased via the the game store or from secret wars different between secret wars and everything else was that it was like arena arena but you had to spend a certain amount of crystals and you could only get the characters if you were in like the top tier of the game like in the top tier ranks so the only people that ever would get these characters were the people that spent buttloads of money to get to the maximum of like to the maximum of the faction or whatever ranking or whatever system so ultimately they changed the game so that they got they got greedy and then they were putting out costumes like oh here's a brand new costume but you can only buy it with this certain amount of currency and then stuff like that so these characters so they they dumbed down the system where you could get characters that you wanted 
And then they dumbed down the system <laughs> again. And then they started releasing new content that you can only get characters from PvP type of stuff. And that just ruined the game for me. And I quit the game. I was like, nah, y'all not gonna get any money from me. This is not, this is greed. Basically, you being greedy. When they didn't have a need to be greedy because they already had a reason. Like, they already had the game set up to the spot where I wanted to play it. And I was going to give them money because I liked the game. That was over with. I'm done. So I moved on and I moved on to another game. And I moved on to Walking the Walking Dead Road to Survival. Walking Dead Road to Survival is way worse than Future Fight. And in fact, to this day, it's terrible. I'm going to set up basically what I went through playing the game. So the moment I got into the game, there's no login. Like, no login daily rewards. You get a daily reward system but it gives you stuff that you could get from just, I guess, like buying <laughs> items out of the store that you can build in the, the game. So I could get these items most of the time. And the main currency in the game is coins. Now, coins, you can only get these from going to their advertisement store. You can get these from the advertisement store. This is not like something you can get normally through just regular gameplay. OK, you can. Not going to lie. But you can only get it through completing quests. like, And they don't have that many missions. Like, I mean, completing missions. Like, the entire mission structure of their PvE. When they feel like giving it to you in a daily bonus reward. Or if they give it to you in raid tournaments. Which you have to play a certain amount to get to. So, <laughs> the only other way is to watch advertisement videos. Which would be fine if the advertisement videos worked most of the time. They don't. Most of the time, they don't work at all. Most of the time, you will go to it, and it will say, hey, um, this video doesn't work. And you're like, oh, okay. Or one day, it'll work, and it'll only work for twi like twice. And then you'll get, like, three coins per spin. And you're like, oh, okay, now, now what? And then there will be a day where, for no reason, it works 15 times, and you get, <laughs> 15, like, you get 15 times three. So you're good. You're like, oh, okay, that that's weird. And then other days it just doesn't work. So every two weeks you might have an opportunity to get 15 times three or maybe 30 times three per coins. And then other days you will get nothing or you may get one. So then there's the opposite. Like right next to it on free coins, there is an advertisement survey thing that you can go to. So you go to it and then you, you complete surveys, you complete surveys. 85% of the surveys don't fucking work at all. So you, you do that. You waste your time, you waste 10 to 15 minutes filling out surveys, and then nothing. You get zero zilch and nada. Sometimes you get 96 coins, sometimes you get nothing, nothing. So you, it's basically a scam. Like, how do you get the coins? The coins are so hard to get, and it's so hard to get characters that it's, it's not even fun. You know what's worse? So I used to go in the forums, and I check out the forums. And the whales, we call whales people who spend buttloads of money on mobile games just so they can win. The whales are upset because they would spend hundred to seven hundred dollars or thousands of dollars to get cards, and then they would only get three stars and maybe four or four stars and no five star characters. So you spend seven hundred fifty dollars and you get no five star characters. Of course, you're gonna be upset. So what does that say for people who can barely even get the coins and free to play? What does that say for you? You would I wrote I've rolled probably ten well, based off the free to play model. And I have gotten no characters worth anything. I've always gotten like either a three star or one really shitty four star that you can get from doing their random roadmap quests. And they know they, they do it on purpose. They never give you any characters that matter worth the damn in the roadmap quest. They always give you these really crappy characters so that the people that spend a buttload of money can just kick your ass all over the place. So you get one of those characters and you're and you're like, oh, OK, I got some trash character. <laughs> so in the long run, they said, OK, well, we we don't want to upset our whales. Here's a thing called the Supply Depot. So they put this 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 is recent. This came out two weeks ago, maybe a, a week and a half ago. So they said, hey, here's a Supply Depot. We have the Supply Depot. You can now trade in characters for a certain amount of currency so that you could add up that currency to purchase any character you want as long as they are on the supply depot at that time. This does not benefit anyone who is playing free at all. If you're playing free, you will never really get any three stars. Because <laughs> the only way to get three stars is to get enough coins. And coins are so hard to get in the game that 
you probably roll twice maybe a month to try to get a character out of their little thing or you'll get a random three-star character out of their little bonus shards but that barely happens anyway and then the currency is so low now that i think about it you can't sell two stars for the currency in the, the supply depot so you can only sell three stars four stars five stars and then it's so you get such a low amount of sale points that it's not even worth it and then the cost of a, to get a reasonably uh, priced character is two times the cost no four times the cost of any currency you turn in to eventually get the character so like you you're spending 350 for one three star like you get 250 for one three star character or 350 for one three star character and then the ma like the major guy for four star he costs 12,000 so he costs 12,000 you know how long that will take in the system where you barely get any coins to roll to even get any of the people it will take forever if you're a free-to-play player this game is not designed for you whatsoever no login bonuses their claim like their their quest <laughs> their quest setup is terrible for you to get coins like any other game would properly give you a way to get coins regardless like every day you should be able to get the currency to to get the best characters but in this game there's nothing it's even worse because it, it's set up with a system now it always was set up with this i'm not saying i don't know why i'm saying now the raid tournament that you have in the game there's the raid tournaments and there's faction tournaments and soon something called faction wars is coming out but that's probably gonna be just as trash i already see people setting up double teams so that they can cheat the system for faction wars which is just mind-boggling that's how bad the game is but raid tournaments you get number one or number two and you get like a four or five star character then if you're anywhere no lower than that you don't get you get like some bag full of crap hard to collect collectibles in the game now the guys unlike any other game i've ever played these people have like the best teams because they spend the most money which is fine which is fine but any even in future fight before they made the change with secret wars which is basically what the system is now you would be able to get a rank of money like it would be like oh this dude gets so many crystals at certain ranks and you would still get crystals regardless in this game you don't get shit you get some redundant garbage collectible item that may or may not help you and you almost seem like you're never upgrading in the game because all the game does is force you to not get anything unless you're spending a lot of money so the only way to win raid tournaments is by having a lot of fuel or whatever the hell they call it energy in the game and there's no limitations no limitations on how much fuel you can spend in a day so that means you can play all day without spending a lot of energy or spend all your energy in a day for the two days that the raid tournament goes by and there's always somebody in the system who is who is buying constantly raid energy raid energy so there they've got quadruple of whatever anybody else can get because they spent a hundred dollars 50 to a hundred dollars on the the fuel so you will never get any of the cool characters <laughs> you will never get anywhere near them at all in the points because they've quadrupled your score and recently they had like the dumbest tournament i ever seen in my life which was a level up tournament they put a level up tournament where basically if you had a bunch of characters and you had the money to just constantly buy characters off the store and then use them to soak into the characters so that you could get score money scores you could get the highest score in the game to get a better character which make it was just to me is like the opposite of what you would do to get a better character it's like hey if i got money to buy characters why would i care to level up the character? but no no people have done it i've seen people do it constantly and it's just the stupidest idea but me by the end of that tournament i had like five thousand points just from regularly leveling up which you would think that was all you had to do but then there were people on the thing where they had sixty thousand points so it was like it was like whoa mind blown and then they were saying, oh, if you don't have five star, you don't get this many points. So five stars were getting, if you were leveling up a five star at certain tiers, they were getting a thousand points each, 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 each uh, level up. And then like if you had a three star and a four star, you were getting like 250 and 100. So it was already not balanced <laughs> around anyone that did spend money. So how, why would I play this? Like it's a, it's a totally unbalanced and unfair way of doing things. <sighs> anyway. 
and then they have two reward tiers. They have a one reward tier where you can get uh, the five star, which is the major tier. And then they have the final tier, like the second tier, where it should be like everybody should be able to do this tier. But no, nah, no. Nah. Usually, usually the stack of points they want you to get is basically saying, hey, man, if you didn't buy energy, there's no chance. There's like no way in hell that you're going to get this. So if you're a free to play player, you're not going to get anywhere near to get the top tier of the reward system which makes no sense since it's the secondary reward system and it doesn't affect everybody it just affects you so that's just it's just mind-boggling that they would have a system based like the entire game is based off of greed so if you can avoid playing road to survival at all and if you if you just go on the forums and you just see people complaining about the game You'll understand that this game is terrible. It's like the worst mobile game I've ever played. It is all about money and greed. And all right, so finally, I'm not going to go hard on this one, but Galaxy of Heroes is starting off like Future Fight was. Only problem with this game is that it instantly assumes <laughs> that you're going to spend a lot of money on its main card characters. The Chromium Packs, like they have characters you can only get from Chromium Packs and no other way to like bring them tokens from any other place so you can't get tokens from any other place in the game other than chromium packs which means that those characters will stay low level until you spend more money which is like the opposite of how you should do this if you want people to spend money i mean they have the subscription model which is like five dollars you get crystals every day for 30 days of course but then why why would you do it like if if you can just play normally and get some regular characters and they'll be stronger than the characters you get out of the chromium pack and then the chromium pack characters you can't even get at all as a free-to-play player it's just mind-boggling why would i play this like even the pvp right now is already unbalanced because the people that did spend the money on those chromium pack players have like the strongest characters in the game and they are already destroying luckily they don't have a system like road to survival where Oh, well, the dude at the top rank gets the best gear, blah, 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 blah. Luckily, it's just crystals right now. But that is subject to change. <sighs> I wish these games would take a model that I love from a game that I've pl put a 787 hours into, and it's Marvel Heroes. Now, Marvel Heroes is a free-to-play game, and the only reason to like spend money on this game is to get a bank slot, which I think they should change for at least a couple of them, and costumes. Now... Costumes are cosmetic. Costumes are completely cosmetic. I've paid a lot of money for costumes. But you can earn every fucking character in the game by simply playing the game and getting Eternity Shards. You get Eternity Shards, you get enough Eternity Shards for that character, and you buy that character with Eternity Shards. Eternity Shards is a free thing that drops from characters in the game from just playing it. So if you want a character, you can get a character without spending money. If you want a costume for that character... You got to buy it. But the... Okay, they drop super rarely. It's like a 0.01% chance of getting the character. I mean, getting the costume drop. But if you want the costume, right out the gate, you can buy it. And it only affects you because it is cosmetic. It doesn't apply anything special to the character. Your character is not better than the other characters. The P, there's PvP in the game, but the PvP doesn't change the dynamic of what makes the game fun. And the game is being... the the fun of the game is being the character that you love and enjoying that character and playing as that character. And that's what these mobile games don't get. You don't try to make me, you don't try to make greed the, the main obsession for your game. You make the game fun and then you make me pay money that only affects me. <laughs> like if I'm if I have to pay money in your game and it and it changes the dynamic of how every everybody else plays the game, you've already messed up. Marvel Avengers Alliance was one of my favorite games. I played that on Facebook for forever. Eventually, they got away from doing a lot of the mission structure stuff, and they went into the PvP stuff. And then they started putting up items that only you would, that would be like $20 to $25. You buy the item, and then you see everybody in PvP using that item. And if you didn't have the item, you're dead. You lose. There's no way you can beat these guys because they had this item. They had this super special re like counter or something like some stupid stat so the idea that i like just ending this is mobile games need to stop being greedy if they want people to continue playing because 
whales will only stick around for so long because they won't have any bait. I said this earlier, <laughs> no bait around, which is the free-to-play free to players. Because once they leave, the whales will lose all interest because they don't have anybody to spend their money on to destroy. So make a good free-to-play game and stop this greed. And don't, don't play Road to Survival unless they change the entire game. That game is fucking terrible. Don't play it. This is Kevin Jones, Geek Citadel, and I'll continue to hold it down forever. Peace. Hey, everybody, this is Kevin. This is gameplay footage from Turnover, a new game coming out, stealth action kind of game. It's pretty fun. It's really hard and difficult, but, you know, it's fun. But this game's going to be playing over the conversation I'm going to have about mobile games. So enjoy what you're watching, and I'm about to go in on Scopely right now. I had more footage of this game, but my microphone started buzzing like crazy, and I couldn't get past the third stage anyway because the physics were messed up. So I guess that'll be fixing the patch, but I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Playing Games.